Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at rotations. Now again, if you want to have a look at any of the other transformations, they're all going to be linked in the description below. So if you want to check out any of the others after this video, then don't forget to check that out. And as always, if you find these videos useful, please do like the video, please leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So we're going to start with this particular question where we're going to look at actually doing a rotation. And then at the end of the video, we are also going to have a look at describing transformations and describing rotations and how we go about doing that. So that's what we're going to be having a look at and with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so moving on to our first question. It says here, rotate shape P 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin. So there's a few things that you need to know here. So we're only ever gonna rotate things 90 degrees or 180 degrees, so that's gonna be a quarter turn or a full half turn. We're also gonna to have to bear in mind that we're gonna to have to move that clockwise or anti-clockwise. So hopefully you know the directions of clockwise or anti-clockwise, because it's the way the minute hand moves around on a clock or the second hand, depending on which one we're actually looking at at the time. So when we're going for this then, it also says we need to rotate it about the origin. So the origin is a particular coordinate, it's the coordinate zero, zero, right in the center of the graph. So when we've got all this information, we're gonna to have to obviously be very careful that we rotate it from the correct point in the correct direction and by the correct distance. So there are three things that we've gotta pay attention to. Now it's easy enough when we do a rotation. Now we're gonna use tracing paper for this and there's not gonna be any examples for you to have a go at for this particular one because obviously they're all on screen and it's quite hands-on using tracing paper, but hopefully this will give you a good explanation as to how, how to go about answering these type of exam questions. So first thing that you need to do is you get some tracing paper and you put it over the top. Now you're going to keep your tracing paper nice and flat and the reason we're going to keep it nice and flat is because it's much easier to then do a 90 degree or a 180 degree rotation because it's going to go to another point of being flat again. So now you have got your tracing paper on the top, you want to get your pencil and trace over the top of the shape. So if we trace over the top of this shape and there we go, that's now on our tracing paper. We get our pencil and we're gonna put the pencil on the point of rotation. Now this is the origin, so we're gonna put it on the origin just here. Now you wanna press your pencil down nice and firmly because the tracing paper is gonna stay fixed on that point. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the tracing paper around the pencil. So if we rotate the tracing paper, and bearing in mind we're gonna go 90 degrees anti-clockwise, that would move the tracing paper to here. Now very carefully, you just need to take your pencil off the tracing paper, lift the tracing paper up very carefully and trace underneath exactly where the shape is on the paper. Now bear in mind when you are doing this, sometimes it can be ever so slightly out, it's quite difficult to get it perfect, but you know that it's going to fall onto some particular coordinates and you just need to make sure that you match it up as best you can, doing it as accurately as possible. So then when you remove your tracing paper, you've got your shape drawn, and just read the question very carefully, just in case it asks you to label it a different letter or something like that. But otherwise, that's how we do our, trans, uh, our rotation here. So that's our rotation done, and we're gonna have a look at another one. So let's have a look at that one now. Okay, so this question says, rotate triangle A 180 degrees about the point two zero. So you'll notice on this one, it doesn't give us a direction. It doesn't say clockwise or anti-clockwise. That's because when we're turning 180 degrees, we'll end up in the same point whether we go clockwise or whether we go anti-clockwise. So for this particular question, it's completely up to you which direction you go in. But the process is gonna be the same. We're gonna take our tracing paper, line it over the top. We wanna trace over the top of the shape, and then we're gonna get our pencil and put it on our rotation point. Now this rotation point says two zero, so we're gonna go along to two, and then we're not gonna go up or down, so we're just gonna go onto the coordinate two zero, which is just here. Again, pressing your pencil firmly down on the paper, we just wanna rotate the tracing paper, and this time we are gonna do a full 180 degree turn, so past that quarter turn, and then another quarter turn, and I'm gonna go anti-clockwise, and there we go, it ends up just here. Again, you wanna take your pencil off the tracing paper, lift the tracing paper up very carefully, and then trace it underneath, and you'll have your shape drawn. Again, just paying attention to the question, just in case it says to lab it tri label it triangle B or something like that. This question didn't, it just says to rotate it, so there we go, our question would be completed. 
Now that's how you obviously go about doing a rotation. Now there's one that we didn't look at and that was just going clockwise by 90 degrees, but obviously that would be the same as going anti-clockwise except we would just turn the tracing paper clockwise instead. There is another tra uh, transformation or another rotation that we could do as well and that is 270 degrees which is a three quarter turn but if you are going a three quarter turn again it's not too difficult in comparison to either of these you would just turn it another 90 degrees in whatever direction you're being asked. Right let's have a look at describing a rotation. Okay, so when it comes to describing a transformation, and in this case, we're gonna be describing a rotation. So looking at the question, you can see that this would be a rotation because you can see that the shape is actually rotated. Now the question here says to describe fully the single transformation that maps shape Q onto shape P. So if we look to get from shape Q to shape P, the shape has actually been rotated and it's been rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise. We could also say 270 degrees clockwise, but we may as well do it the easier method here, which is to move the shortest distance, which would just be the 90 degrees going anti-clockwise. So we need to know that because as we put our tracing paper onto here, we're gonna follow a similar process and knowing the direction and the distance that it has actually been rotated is really gonna help with that. So first of all, we're gonna stick our tracing paper back over the top. And again, we're gonna trace over the top of the shape that we're moving from. And in this case, that is shape Q. So if we trace shape Q, and now what we're gonna try and do is we're basically just gonna use trial and error. So you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna just have a guess at where the rotation point is. And let's just have a random guess. We'll go for this coordinate here, zero, three. Now, if we, again, press the pencil down nice and carefully so that we can rotate the tracing paper and we rotate the tracing paper 90 degrees anti-clockwise, we should see where it goes. And in this case, it goes nowhere near. So we're gonna to have to think again. So we'll start again, we'll take it back to the beginning and we'll move the pencil to a different point. And let's try here, the coordinate one, two. If we rotate that again, you can see we're getting closer, but we're not quite there. So again, take it back to the beginning and let's have a think, maybe we need to move it down or left, let's move it down to here and the coordinate one one. And if we do that rotation, you can see that actually that lands on top of the shape. So we've actually found out the rotation that it is. We know it's 90 degrees anti-clockwise and we found the coordinate. So until, in order to describe this, we need to say the three things that we're doing. So to start with, we are doing a rotation. The next thing is that we are moving 90 degrees anti-clockwise and the last part is the coordinate so we would say that it's about the point 1 1 or you could say from the point 1 1 and that would be our three things that we need in order to describe a rotation so we would say a rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the point 1 1 and that would be our final answer for a question like this okay let's have a look at one more before we finish so this question says, describe fully the single transformation that maps shape P onto shape Q. So again, looking at them, you can see that this is a rotation. Now to get from P to Q, you can also see that it's again a 90 degrees rotation, but it is in the clockwise direction. Or again, you could say a 270 degrees anti-clockwise rotation, but we'll go with the shorter distance again. So putting the tracing paper over the top, and this time we want to trace over the top of shape P. So now we've traced over the top of shape P, again we're gonna get our pencil, put the pencil onto the diagram, and pick a coordinate. So let's go with zero, one. So if we rotate this this time, let's see where that ends up. Again, that ends up too far away, so we're gonna to need to move our pencil somewhere to the left, possibly even up a little bit. So let's just have a look, we'll move it here, left and up one. And if we rotate that, again 90 degrees clockwise, now you can see it's just over the top, so we're not quite there, but we're almost there. So maybe let's move the pencil again to the left or up. Let's try going up and that one does actually work. So there we go. There, that would be our coordinate there. And that is the coordinate negative two, three. And that has found our point of rotation. So thinking again about what we've done here, we would say that it's a rotation. We would say it's 90 degrees clockwise, and we would give the coordinate by saying about the point minus three, two. And that's how we go about doing rotations and describing rotations. So there we go, that's the end of the video. I hope you found that useful and helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the rest of the series in the description below where you can have a look at the rest of transformations. But that's all for now and I will see you for the next video.